The United Nations has many virtues, but it also has serious shortcomings, and they must be faced. The United Nations has no greater friend than the United Kingdom, but it does not adequately reflect the world we live in today. The Security Council must be reformed. Unless more room is made at the top table, it will fast become an anachronism, a relic of a different time. And that is why the United Kingdom continues to support permanent seats for Brazil, India, Germany and Japan, and permanent African representation too. And the United Kingdom is clear. We are on the side of all those who support political freedom and economic empowerment. There will be no pulling up of the drawbridge from us. No heading into retreat. We will resist any impulse to turn our back on the world. Mr. President, I welcome President Rouhani's comments on Tuesday that he wanted constructive engagement between Iran and the rest of the world and to engage immediately in time-bound talks on the nuclear issue. Encouraging words, which I very much hope are matched with genuine action. I am pleased that negotiations on Iran's nuclear program will restart in October. If Iran's words are followed by concrete steps, then there is a real opportunity to make progress in resolving the serious international concerns about Iran's nuclear program. We also look to a more constructive approach from Iran in helping resolve the crisis in Syria, and we have made clear to Iran that we are ready, as the United Kingdom government, to improve our relationship on a step-by-step and reciprocal basis.